Learning with the Pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. So a few things that we probably should be talking about here is, again, the BC best handling practices and guidelines for sturgeon fishing, the do's and don'ts and um, things of what would help this fishery. Right? First and foremost, we want to make sure that we have the right amount of tackle, you know, the right tackle, the good rods, good stiff broad rod, probably about eight feet long. You got to be using about a minimum of a 130 pound test and a good enough reel that can handle these, these big fish. Second and most, we probably would want to be able to make sure that we are using single barbless hooks on all these fish. Uh, you definitely want to be able to fish in a place where you hook a big enough fish. You can get to shore and you can tow a fish into shore safely. Any fish over 1.5 meters approximately should go to shore. We definitely want to make sure that we are not tying these fish up from the boat, noosing these fish and towing them backwards in the river. I mean that probably is one of the worst things that we can see out here. That's a way to drown a fish is towing them backwards. So that's a definitely a don't. Second most is we want to make sure that when we're getting a fish up for a pitcher, it's a quick pitcher, we get them up. Even though these fish are tough and they've been around for 175 million years, we want to make sure we get them up, we get a pitcher, we get them on their way. Same as when you're taking a fish to shore. A definite thing is we don't, don't want to see that fish are dragged up onto the sand or dragged up onto the beach. Keep your fish in the water, do your measuring, get a quick shot, suspend the fish in the water gently, get enough hands underneath the fish. That way those fish can be suspended and released safely back into the wild for someone else to have an opportunity to come and fish. So come this way, enjoy this fishery. It's an amazing fishery. For more tips like this, please visit bcoutdoorsmagazine.com.